It's Crit Couch. Skylar, stop sleeping. I'm not sleeping. Shh. I mean, I could be. Yeah, and don't. Just... Uh, this, this game, Michael. Why this game? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know, I said it early on. It's like, we start, it's like, you know, this game doesn't usually get a fair shake. <laughs> and by the end, it's just like, oh my God, let it in. <laughs> no, see, well, you know, I was talking about character growth last episode. And yeah. see, I have had some character growth because I am getting, realized. <laughs> I'm getting increasingly disappointed in this non-cheese infested ship. It's very... <laughs> Very misnamed well, Captain Mac and Cheese. We haven't met Captain Mac and Cheese yet. He that could, man better be made out made of ricotta. Of like, he better be, like, just a fucking sculpture of mozzarella. Like, <laughs> I want him glistening. And I want all of these enemies to stop fucking carrying themselves. It's really useless, honestly. Uh, yeah, like... <sighs> everything in this game seems to just be built around, like... It's almost like lip service to the idea that it like represents, right? It's like enemies should represent a an obstacle. So, uh, you know, they're just gonna be a pain in the ass and petrify me in the first fucking turn. Yeah. And Ruben doesn't have a heal spell, so you know maybe we'll make it, maybe we won't. You know, we'll see. Yeah, it it really is. You can flail hard enough. No, it's not looking good, guys. It really is ill-considered. Oh, fuck. God, hit six times. Uh, uh, is that it? No. Oof. Uh, that's it. Oh, good lord. <laughs> yeah! What was that fucking uh, Dr. Roxo from... Um... <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm man. Dr. Roxa, the rock and roll clown. I do cocaine. Oh, God, I haven't thought about that show in a long time. I just, Dr. Roxo just always cracked me up. Like, just, especially because all of those guys are so dumb in that show. If you don't know what Metalocalypse is, one, you should watch it. Um, two, they should really let Brandon Small make a third or a fifth season and actually finish the story but uh, it's a basically about a death metal group it's animated um, and Brendan Small basically wanted an ex excuse it, to like play small his or smalls uh, eh. keep doing your thing then um, I don't care about the but, game anymore <laughs> <laughs> fair enough um, small. it is just small yeah that's what I thought um, but so like it's this heavy metal it's like this it, it the, the story is that they're like the greatest death metal band in the world. Well, yeah, it's like their their music has like changed the world. Yeah, basically. like the fabric of of countries shifts based on their economic success and like people. Yep. I mean, it's it's all tongue in cheek and funny and. and but they're all like twats. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, Doctor Roxo is this like he's basically a throwback to kind of like Guns and Roses like Alice Cooper era rock like the kind of like like sort of glam metal or glam rock sort of like proto metal in a lot of ways and so like Dr. Rock so he's got like this deep deep V green leotard like basically right to above his pubic bone and he's always got this like crazy like rainbow afro and like this spiked red nose and his whole thing is like he's hooked on cocaine and so anytime they get in interactions with him there's like always something awful that he has done like M Murderface who's the bassist who um, his, his name is William Murderface that is actually his name in the show um, it's a super serious show yeah yeah he's this ugly like square jawed guy well, there hasn't been a season of that since 2013 nope it's been a while but so like one of one of the guitarists, uh, Toki, is hanging out with Doctor Roxo because like Toki's kind of like more of a child at, at heart and likes like goofy shit. And Murderface wakes up and like Doctor Roxo's got his hand in his pocket and Murderface just freaks the fuck out. And like later in the episode, like they're all talk they're talking about something or other, and he's like, "I woke up with a clown's hand 
in my pants. That's, that's what I did today. And it's just like, it's so fucking great. Uh, uh, <laughs> Unlike this fucking ship. Brendan, Brendan Small and Surge from System of a Down yep. did a cover of the old Blue Oyster Cult Godzilla for the Godzilla King of Monsters movie. Oh, nice. And it was fucking awesome. And it played at the end during the like pre-credits roll thing. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I fucking love Godzilla, by the way. So. Yeah, he's a big kaiju person. Mm, hell yeah, I am. Yeah, I, like I'm literally a Godzilla sitting on the couch. I'm a kaiju person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look. Okay. Just because you don't want to admit that I'm a giant lizard. That. I knew we said we'd keep it secret, but, but... the truth came out during this fucking shitty game. And nobody's gonna be watching at this point, anyways. So I'm just wa- yeah, I'm just wandering the just fuck listening around, to us like... tiredly talk through this game. <laughs> Can you go down there? Down where? Down, keep going down. Yeah, there was nothing down there. There's a fucking oh. chest, like one of those worthless chests. Um. Do you wanna dance with me? Do you wanna see me <sighs> sing? Really don't you see the notes, but you can hear them. What? Jesus Christ, dude! <laughs> what? I'm funny. <laughs> the <laughs> the way you know is because you have to say it. Yeah. The can you chop through the crates? I'm just curious. What the barrels? Yeah, with an axe. No. Yeah, that checks out. No, I think I have to fall down at the right spot. If we don't find it by the time the end of this episode comes across, I'm going to just look up a map because I'm getting real fucking tired <laughs> of your shit, Bloven. No, Bloven's a precious creature. You know, honestly, it's not Bloven's fault. Like, no. It's Phoebe's. <laughs> it is. Yeah, see, there's just like a weird-ass statue at the at the foot of this thing. I don't, I don't know. Is that not a boss? No, it's not a boss. Well, it had way more detail than everything else. Yeah, and it's like super off screen, uh-huh. so you would never know. Okay. There's. Baby, baby. Um. Mongrels. I feel like there's got to be a spot that I have to fall down into to find this stairway. Is that the stairway? Yeah, I need to get down into the center of the ship. Um, and she's finding a stairway to the end of this game. Uh, that was it. That was the last I had in me. That, yeah, I could tell. Um, there's a, there's a certain, like, there's a certain effect I'm realizing this game has on me. Is it's it a, just making you dumb? It's like, a cute <laughs> game. It really is. And, like, I, I just remember, like, I was really excited to come over to record today, and then, like, you turned this back on, and I was like, all right. Uh. <laughs> 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 like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, and that, you know, I, I think I talked about this several episodes back, but I think that that could also realistically if be... If I were a kid playing this, I would probably really enjoy it. Yeah, and I, I think that's a valid point. I mean, like, if you, if you didn't come into this having any preconceived notions about what a Final Fantasy was. Yeah, that, that was your whole thing. Yeah, so. like, I think you could easily kind of pick this up and kind of just appreciate it for what it was. In fact, I think I think I've seen some influences from it in, in some, some other, other games. games. Like, um, plip, plip, plip. there's this one game. Open the chest. Do it. Okay. I just wanted to open a I chest. Wonder. Wait. Nope. Couldn't you? Because you couldn't. You haven't been past that thing yeah, yet. Yeah, I have. Right? Oh, okay. You just haven't been paying attention. No, that is accurate. <laughs> um, like I just, I just became involved now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm still comfy though. <laughs> Hopefully my audio is all right. Yeah, uh, I mean your levels look fine. Um. I wonder. Fight the kid. Oh. No, that just took me right back here. 
Is there a stairway you haven't been up yet? That like, it's middle hard, one? It's hard to tell, because they all look the fucking same. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think, I think, like, that whole idea of, you know, it... You could play this, and you know, in a time where you didn't have necessarily better options, because realistically, there there weren't a whole ton of RPGs going on. Like, like you had a couple things on the NES. You had like Dragon Quest. You had, or Dragon Warrior, is what it was called. You have, um, what is your purpose? blue guy like I bet you could move those crates or something I really hope that's not the answer because if it is I'm gonna be a little pissed but uh, um, but the, uh, the Sphinx is like oh it's definitely the answer <laughs> if you tell me the answer you can pass what has four legs in the morning two legs in the afternoon and three legs in the evening a centaur who had two legs chopped off. No, he has six. Fuck. Never mind. I'm out. <laughs> centaur. Centaurs are technically insects. <laughs> oh, a horse that had two of its legs chopped off. And then it had then one grafted got, back by the. And evening. then got turned on. What? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, how did that even happen? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Mystic Quest, everyone. It's it's turn-based. What? What the fuck? Mother goddamn fuck. <laughs> that <laughs> mother goddamn fuck. You rang. <laughs> Man, like that totally bypassed me making like the horse dick joke. So cool. Ah. Because <laughs> it lost its legs and it got an erection by the end of the day. <laughs> God, <laughs> that's, yes, a, yes. that's the joke. That's what I said. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, sorry. There goes that whole thing yeah. about like, <laughs> keeping it clean a little bit. No, yeah. no, it was it was bound to happen. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I think my thing, my phone stopped doing the thing. Like, I've just been fucking with it this whole time. Oh, okay. See, you showed it to me, and the screen kept turning on and I was, off I and was on doing and that. off. Yeah, yeah. And I thought it no. was, like, having a seizure, and I was like, are you an idiot, Skyler? <laughs> 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 oh, my phone stopped doing that. It only, to clarify, it would only, like, stutter whenever I, like, turn like, the okay. screen on or off. Okay, that's all right. Yeah. No, I'm not. Mother, <laughs> mother, fucking whores! Oh, oh, you, oh. You, the whores to end all whores. No, that was you. You never tried to push it. <laughs> because where else in this game have I ever had to push one fucking barrel? Can where, you not push? Are there maybe others you could push? There haven't been any other barrels that were in my way until right then. Okay. This. I feel like we should have tried that earlier, though. I, well, I say should, we. Should we have? I was pretty checked out for the, you know, for the record. Should we have, though? Like, nowhere else in this game has that been the solution. Like, I hope somebody watching was just oh, getting Oh, I'm sure so... somebody, was, somebody was fucking mad about it. But, like, seriously, like, why would I ever have assumed in this game about not pushing barrels? that pushing a fucking barrel is the solution. Like, I'm trying to think back. I don't think we had to push anything in the Earth. The Earth realm is basically a fart in the wind compared to the rest of this you game. You had to push those stuff. <laughs> you had to push those, like, steppy things around, or the ones you had to, like, jump over. That is like true. I, I did have to push those, but those were also very clearly, like, different. Well, I, think, I think Phoebe even told you to push them. Yeah, like. Ah, oh. uh, uh, this is looking like where we need to be. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Are we at time? I uh, just about. We got like thirty more seconds of. Do you want to like go long again, just because we walked around for like seven or eight minutes? <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know. I don't think I want to go long again. I think. I think I want to go right up to time, <laughs> when something interesting might just happen. <laughs> And then nothing happened. <laughs> Fuck you, chest. We'll fight the same. Yeah, we're enemy. gonna we're gonna kill. We're gonna kill these little motherfuckers. 
Come here. You know, I don't actually know what would be worse, like random encounters or just constantly, like constantly seeing the thing in your way and just being like, oh man. <laughs> I, I think random encounters in this game would actually be horrific. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, there's a lot of older games. Like, if I, I think we should play through Final Fantasy One at some point, and there's going to be some points where it's going to be like, God damn it, this is, is it, such a fucking maze. Is this as monotonous as this? It's a good question. I don't know. But next well, time on Crit Catch, we're going to find out what's up these stairs. Well, but, and nothing interesting happened, except apparently we'll play Final Fantasy One at some point. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking good lord. What are we doing? <laughs> oh, Mystic Quest. <laughs>